Hey there! Welcome to Life Noggin. So I was strolling through Reddit the other day and ended up finding this story about someone who had a rock stuck in their ear for over a decade. According to them, the lasting effects of the ordeal are that they can't really swim underwater, have more frequent headaches, and have balance issues. It's pretty wild, right? As soon as I saw this, I needed to explain the science behind it. So what happens if a rock gets stuck in your ear? Well, first off, if I were you, I'd be happy that what was stuck in my ear wasn't something more creepy crawly. That's because it's not just rocks and similar objects that get stuck in people's ears. Insects like cockroaches and moths have found temporary homes in people's hearing bits. Sorry for saying hearing bits. Having something like a rock or a piece of candy stuck in your ear is actually pretty common when dealing with babies and young children. You know, cause they're natural scientists testing theories by putting things everywhere and touching everything. But insects can make their way into anyone's ear as long as they have a path in. All right, uh, please bring out the flamethrower. Thank you. I'm not dealing with this image anymore. No matter what you have stuck in your ear, it's important that you try and get it out as quickly as possible, while making sure to not make matters worse. We'll get more into that in a second. Not only can having something stuck in your ear be painful in the short term, but it can also be pretty dangerous. If the situation persists, it can potentially cause hearing loss, bleeding, infection, and even damage to your eardrum. Your ear canal is very sensitive, and you can easily make matters worse if you end up pushing the object in deeper. So please don't go rooting around trying to get the foreign object out with a cotton swab or some sort of sharp object. Instead, Mayo Clinic advises that you follow safer steps to try and solve the problem. First off, try moving your head around and seeing if gravity can solve the problem for you. If that doesn't work and you can easily see the object and think you can remove it easily, you can very carefully try to get it out with some tweezers. You can also try washing it out with a little warm water. If you're dealing with an insect, a tiny bit of warm, not hot, oil can do the trick. Refrain from these methods if you have ear tubes or if your eardrum is perforated. If these methods don't work or you can't get all of it out, you should see a doctor immediately, especially if you're having pain or other discomforts. According to some case studies that came out around 10 years ago, while the majority of ear blockages can be safely removed without the help of a specialist, complex cases require the work of an ear, nose, and throat doctor, otherwise known as an otolaryngologist, if you want to sound fancy. This is because tough cases can be associated with significant rates of morbidity, rarely including tympanic membrane and ossicular damage, hearing loss, vertigo, and even facial nerve damage. The factors that lead to these complex cases? Spherical objects, foreign bodies that touch the tympanic membrane, and things that have been stuck in your ear for more than 24 hours. So naturally, if you had a rock in there for, I don't know, 13 years, you're really just increasing your risk all around. I'm sorry that this happened to you, Orem Joe. I'll link to your posts below so people can see your story. It's really super interesting. Let me know in the comment section below if there are any other cases you would like me to explore. Curious to know what it's like to be deaf? Check out this video. Deafness is not a one-size-fits-all. Some people might be able to hear high-pitched tones, while others might be able to hear deeper tones, or some may not be able to hear anything at all. As always, my name is Blocko. This has been Life Noggin. Please don't put rocks in your ear. And keep on thinking.